Hello, how are you? Because the request that we had in the forum about the resizing uh, tool, we believe that the best way to show you how to use this tool is just uh, making a video. So as you can see here, we have a solitaire with all the parts already joined. And now just say that I want to make it bigger. If we check what finger size it is, I believe that is a 16. Let me just check. Yes, it's a 16. So let's gonna make it just say a 21 or a 22. Okay, so I go to the resize ring, and now here we have two select windows. The, the first one, I'm gonna add the solid part, the part that I want to change the finger size. This is of course the ring. So I select the ring. And on the rigid part, what I want to keep is the stones because I want the stones to keep in the same place that are now. Okay, so what I have to do is I just select the stones from the edit button and I just add them here. Okay, so now we have all the tools or all the parts uh, in the select uh, windows. Here we have the original site, as you can see, is a 16. And now what we are going to do is change the finger size to just say a 22. Okay. If we don't move the angle, as you can see, the place for the stones is not matching. But what happens if I get the angle and I just change it to where the channel finish? I need to move it a bit more like this. Now is doing it uh, is doing it perfect as you can see everything is in the right place so i just validate i will hide the old one and look at this everything has been done perfectly so one of the good things about this new tool is that it's keeping the same uh thing the, so everything is round so it keeps, the, it keeps the same shape that we had in the prior uh, ring. Here there is the diamond coming out, but this is something that I did in the original model. But to do to resize rings, I believe that this tool is much better than the one that we used to have. But as always, we would love to hear from your feedback. Just give a go and let us know how it works. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.